what City Life did was sort of activated the activist in me. Now all of a sudden, every Tuesday night, I needed to be here. And my children, they were playing and Ma, just pick me up early. We gotta get to City Life. There was no, no nonsense, no excuses. Uh, I think we was at Sandy's house and she was, uh, we was doing a blockade. And that blockade was so amazing. There was so many people there. Were, you know, I believe Mel King came to that blockade. And it just, it was so real that it made me feel like this could be me, right? Here it is, all these people are out here supporting this woman and we, we don't really know each other personally. We know each other through the struggle, which is what gets, keeps us connected. And so we are so entangled because we are living each other's lives and people were willing to risk arrest to defend this family so that they could stay in their home. They had people on the phones talking to the attorneys, trying to hold back the uh, moving trucks, um, people sitting down on the steps, not allowing the police to enter into the premises. And then you had the people marching. So it was almost like it was dramatic. It was exciting. It was so much stuff going on. It became uh, second nature. Um, defend each other. And, and I think I just realized that for me, being a part of city life is just so important because it's just not me, it's we. You know, so when the bank calls me, they're calling we. And, and I got that very early on. We are City Life Vita Urbana.